Yes! Jesus Christ! <laughs> that is insane! So what is the point in a really, really fast motor if all you can do is get to 15 and a half miles an hour or 25 kilometers, which is the standard EU limit for an e-bike? Well, I'm gonna find out because I've got the TQ 120 motor that there is so much interest in because it's in the new high bike fly-on, which uh, is gonna be one of the most innovative bikes this year. But I really want to try the motor. I did try it last year at Eurobike, but it was just on a little test track. Now, I am in my local woods and I know some real steep sections here that I just cannot climb on the most powerful motor out at the moment, which is the Bros uh, Mag S motor, which is 90 Newton meters of torque. Um, it's uh, magnesium cased. It's pretty pokey, pretty powerful, but, the TQ is just in a different league. I'm gonna turn it up to volume number 11. Most powerful, there you go, most powerful mode is five. Don't know what all this stuff does. It's probably for the suspension, I don't really care. But I'm gonna, <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus, freaking <laughs> face, freaking, whoa, shit. It is quick! By the way, the bike that I'm riding it in is the... <laughs> it looks like a walrus. It is not the most attractive bike at all. And the reason that um, e-bike shop have got this bike in is for customers that want to buy the new fly-on. They're getting an opportunity to test the motor out first. So we're not going to talk about the bike at all because it... it... <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have started with it on five. Hold on. This is, this is, this is next level. Right, let me, uh... <laughs> oh my, Jesus. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. So, uh, it's, it's sensing your torque that you're putting through the pedals. I mean, this is in five, so this is the most brutal that it's gonna get. I know this will not come across as steep on the GoPro at all, but this is really difficult to climb on the Levo, the 2019 Levo. I'm gonna put no technique. <laughs> Jeez, you can just smash it. <laughs> oh my God. What the f <laughs> This is just insane! Whoa, I did not expect that. That little slope that I just went up is a technical climb. And this just, just munched it up for freaking breakfast, man. Shit. This is next level. I cannot believe how powerful this is. I mean, I knew it was powerful because everyone is raving how powerful it is. <laughs> I mean, it's still got the limit and now I'm over it. Whew. I'm just gonna smash it straight up there. <laughs> this, is <laughs> this is just, Freaking insane, man. Insane it is another level. It feels like going from a uh, an e-bike to, so, it's something else, man. I'm telling you, it's... it's <laughs> right, let me find something steep, steeper. I've never, ever, I'm gonna climb it. I'm gonna see if I can climb it. This motor is crazy. Let's do it! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> yeah! Yes! That is insane! That is... <laughs> that... <laughs> oh my... I've never, ever climbed that. 
that is that's very steep it won't look steep here the GoPro will make it look flat but I'm telling you that is steep you are never getting up that on a manual bike I've never ever cleared that on uh, my Levo I've not even made that second ridge part and getting up that climb there I swear that is like that <laughs> that should not be possible on an e-bike <laughs> this thing is crazy so I'm just burning about in the top mode I don't care about the lower down modes for now all I want to do is find out how strong this motor is and I'm telling you it is off the charts I'm just riding it around in number five Johnny Five is alive um, now a lot of people have written in the comments of the uh, high bike stuff that I've done where I've talked about the motor and how powerful it is and people have asked really valid questions like what is what's the point it cuts out at 15 and a half miles an hour that hill that I've just done proves that there is absolutely a point to this you will climb stuff that you've never ever climbed before <laughs> um, I'm speechless I am actually uh, no I've ridden a lot of bikes a lot of mountain uh, e-mountain bikes most of them in fact and you know you start to uh, you start to know how they're going to perform so you'll ride a bros motor you you know how it's going to perform the Shimano the Bosch and they're all they're all similar they've all got their kind of pros and cons this is net this is something different I'm telling you this is in no way comparable to the existing motors that are out there it's it's next level and obviously you don't need to be a dick like me you don't need to blast around in mode 5 the other modes are going to give you a similar feel to uh, anything else that's out there but but boy this this mode here I mean this stuff here is just it's going to munch it up I'm telling you it's, it's, <laughs> it's not even a challenge for it this has been I remember trying to climb this the other day on uh, I can't remember what motor it was but <laughs> it's, it's yeah. Honestly, I'm blown away. Absolutely blown away. Um, it's, it's almost pointless riding more stuff around here because it is just munching it all up. Right, this, this hill coming up here. Again, it's a str not a struggle, but it's hard. For a regular motor. But <laughs> it's just stupid. It's... <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of standard of a British trail bit of more of an off piste kind of thing but like tree blocking the route what would you do you'd have to find an alternative thank <laughs> 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 you know. uh, useless you call yourself a hill <laughs> I've had about 80 pedal strikes but can you <laughs> oh. I have climbed stuff that even on the bros mag s motor which is the most powerful motor or one of the most powerful motors that are out at the moment I cannot climb anywhere near what I've just done on that it's opening up a whole new ball game of mountain biking because you can just get up stuff you never ever thought was possible that is that has blown genuinely blown me away normally when i get on a bike with a particular motor you know how it's going to perform you know how it's going to feel and that's cool this it's like I've got an e-bike again for the very first time I think I might need to order a new fly-on because 
it's next level. It might not be for everyone. It, it is definitely different. If you look at the EZSD, the other end of the scale where you've got a, a motor that's gonna give you a little bit of power. This is gonna give you a lot of power. I've just got up stuff that is, should not be possible on an e-bike or any bike. I am genuinely blown away. I'm not gonna ride it around in any other mode at the moment because I just wanted to try and see how fast it is. It is just, oh, can you tell? Can you tell I'm excited? I'm like a little kid that's got a new toy again. Um, I will take this bike out again and I will try the other modes, but if you wanna test it, get down to e-bike shop. It's a demo bike. They're not selling the bike at all. They're just demoing the motor from the fly on. So you can see what it's like and you can, have a childish grin on your face, right like I have. Catch up with you all soon. I'll bring out all the latest electric bike content every week and uh, hope to see you soon. Take care, bye.